Hey there and welcome. Today, I'm thinking that you might like to know the seven sexy things men find attractive in women. Wildly attractive. So if you want to drive your man wild for you, or maybe you're single and you want to captivate a man on a date, then this is the video for you. So what men find attractive in a woman can be subjective. I'm pretty sure you've heard that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but have you heard that being sexy is more than just appealing to a man's visual senses? And did you know that there are a few things pretty much every man desires in a woman? Stay with me as I'll be expanding on this in a moment. And I've also got a free sweet gift for you too, so keep watching. Hi, I'm Nadine Piet, a dating and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific you'd like help with or if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy love. And when it comes to this topic, is there anything you'd like to share? please comment below. So as I was saying earlier, what men find beautiful in a woman goes beyond what he can see. Don't get me wrong, your clothes, your eyes, the way you walk, he definitely sees that. But this is not all that he wants. You see, sexiness isn't just experienced with your eyes. For a man, sex appeal is a combo of what he sees and what he feels. And the interesting thing is that what guys notice and what guys like are often some of the most subtle things that you and I do that we're not even aware that we're doing. And yet they find it so darn attractive, even magnetic. My clients are always so shocked how the smallest tweaks can create such hugely different outcomes when attracting love. So let's get right to it. Now I'm going to start with the most superficial desire triggers and then I'm going to get deeper as I go. The first thing you can do is number one, trigger the visuals as we mentioned. Have you heard women dress for women, not men? Fake tan, super tight or short clothes, massive cleavage, false eyelashes, this is not what men dream about when they think of a woman. What men like is a woman who's just as comfortable at a five-star restaurant as they are going on a mountain walk and having mud splash up on them. Wearing lipstick or lip gloss, doing your hair nicely, dressing in a way that is flattering to your body shape is what men like and also dressing appropriately appropriately being the key word. Trying too hard to be sexy and dressing for the wrong situation does not make you sexy. It makes you come across as insecure and unable to let your hair down and be natural. Accurate or not, you can come across as hard work. So for those visual triggers, how you dress, what you reveal and don't reveal, how much makeup you have on does influence the kind of man you attract. In a nutshell, make an effort to enhance your features in a relaxed kind of way. What is also visually appealing and lets a man know that you're interested is moving slower, perhaps touching your hair, licking of the lips, a subtle bite of the lower lip can help attraction. When we desire someone, we tend to do this naturally and yet some women clam up and become stiff and controlled in their energy and actions. Everything is about moderation. If you twirl your hair constantly, you'll seem insecure and trying to force attraction like a porn star. But if you just do a little bit of this, you'll signal desire and this is what men want from a woman he's interested in long term. Most things in life comes down to moderation and flow, not force. To help you with this, I have a fabulous free gift called Flirting for Love or Fun that expands on this in a way that allows you to date and flirt like a pro and in a way that attracts a man looking for love and commitment. Every woman looking for true, devoted and sexy love needs this free gift. The link is right below in the description. Now for the next point, number two, lowering your voice when you speak and being gentle with your voice. I naturally have a deepish voice, so I don't have to lower it so much, though I do tend to speak fast. And as mentioned in point one, I need to remember to slow down with my man. This way I become more present and more connected. The same applies to the voice. Also adding in a few light touches is also helpful. Number three, be a shoulder with all ears. 
Men like to feel that they're being heard because when he feels heard, it makes him feel like what he has to say matters and that he's of value. And this is why this makes you so darn sexy. Women talk much more than men in general and often men don't feel like they get to say what they want to say as much as they'd like. So when he starts to speak, don't cut him off and don't always share a personal story that is similar or more dramatic than his. There is a time for sharing and a time for listening. Sometimes we bond through similar experiences, sometimes not. Discernment is needed here. Either way, wait for him to finish before you jump in. Number four, playful teasing. Sending him a flirty or cheeky text during the day is what creates desire and tension. Teasing him without being sarcastic or mean is such a great way to build a bond. Also, anything that makes him laugh and even fantasize about you is sexy and will drive him wild for you. If you're in the early stages of dating, go with PG rated messages with no promises of anything. If you're already physically involved, you can be more risque. Mystery works like magic here. Number five, foreplay. It's known that women need to be warmed up to truly experience pleasure, but men need this much more than women realize and also far more than what men think they need. In my program, Secrets of the Irresistible Lover, I go into detail about the nine levels of arousal, and I'm telling you, this is what men need. If you want to stand out to him, don't just head for the prize. Tantalize him first in other ways. Explore his whole body. Of course, the above points mentioned are part of the foreplay because not only does the body need to be fully aroused, so does the mind. If you'd like to find out more specific techniques, the link to Secrets of the Irresistible Lover is below in the description, so check it out. It's super sexy. Not only will this program assist you with your own pleasure, it will allow you to create a deep bond with a man that's undeniable. Check out the link below in the description. Number six, asking for his help. Women have become independent to a fault. It's actually okay to depend on someone else from time to time. So go ahead and let him carry your bag. Let him hang up a painting for you. Let him support you. Also, it's okay to ask him for his opinion on a work concern or even a family one. Bottom line, he likes to feel useful and of service. So why not lighten the load when you can? It makes him feel good, it helps you, and you guessed it, it's so darn sexy. Number seven, life passion. A sexy woman is a woman who's got some get up and go. She's not waiting around for a man to entertain her. She's got her own interests and passions. In fact, she's able to introduce or invite a man to try new experiences with her, either something she's familiar with or something new of interest. Ambition, drive, confidence are all sexy. So that's it for today's video. There's seven sexy things you can do that will 100% drive him wild for you. Before you go, please comment below and let me know when you've tried these things on your man and how he responded to them. And while you're at it, please do subscribe to this channel as this will allow me to keep creating these videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and the bell button to get notified of my new videos every week. And please give me a thumbs up if you like what I've shared. Of course, if you think a friend would benefit from this topic, please share this with them as it might be the very video they need to find out how to be more attractive to the man they have their eyes on or to meet the man of their dreams. It's been a great honor to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to love a little more every day in some special way and see you again at my next video.